see the face as well okay what does it mean no the face can behold my face and live. so what does that mean you can see his back okay. parts yeah, but you can't see his front that's, front that's, part that's what moses saw okay so you're 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 saying that the face of god is something when people see that they will die if if you encounter god not through the mediated ministry of his son when you see him you will die but ezekiel wasn't there was he and he didn't die no. There you go. You said it yourself. Ezekiel saw God. How was Moses approaching God? Can you answer Ezekiel first? How did he not die? How, how was Moses? How did Ezekiel God? not die? Ezekiel. I don't know whether Ezekiel saw the face of God. I don't know. Does it say that? No, but you said he saw him. He saw God. Yes. And how does he know he that is God? He saw a vision how does he... of God's okay. throne at the very least. Okay. So then the meaning of anyone. God? Anyone who sees God will die. He has no meaning then. If, if you encounter Almighty God without the sacrificial mediating presence of His Son, you will die and go to hell. Actually, we don't believe in human sacrifice. Instantly. So the person who believes in such pagan Whether belief will go to hell. Heart, you will go to hell. Well, okay? we'll because see about that. You, when you encounter the unmediated glory of God in your sinful condition, as with Muhammad, you will be finished. You know, this is exactly what the Quran says, that if you commit shirk, then your abode is a hellfire. Yes, okay. But you see, well, in fact, we are, we are actually agreeing with Jesus Christ that the, there's only one true God and that is one person, not three persons. At yes, end, at, at even end, though we don't call him the father, the this end. is a Hebrew term that they use to refer to God Almighty, like Abba. Yes, we say Rob. Yes, at but the they end, believe the something end, other than what Jesus Christ day, preached. My friend, you will have to stand before God. On so your will you. Yes. You reject Jesus Christ. You know, no, no, no. you know, Jesus on the day of judgment will tell you, "I've got nothing to do with you. Get away from me, you evil doer." Jesus, this is actually in in the Bible, in the New Testament. In, okay. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, let's go to John <laughs> three if you want a perspective on that. Okay. It says many will come and say. Yes, Lord, have I, God, have, uh, sorry, Lord, Lord, have I not done this in your name? Have I not prophesied in your name? Have I not done miracles in your name? Who does all these things today? The Christians. Yes, but what will Jesus say to them? Yes, no, get away from me, you evil doers, Je on the day of judgment. Said, when Depart the from me. Yes. Came to him, There's a man who's not one of us who's doing miracles in your name, and he said, nobody in the, in, can immediately go from working in Jesus name to working against him and Jesus basically said leave him be for the moment no but there, what is there are people who understand the power but if you read that passage you know Jesus at name. the beginning of that Jesus said that do the will of the father why did he say to do the will of the father and not the son if the son is fully God why does it always why is Jesus always making the father to stand out as the only true God he says do the will of the father if you read John 5 Yes, again, your, uh, your favorite gospel. Mm. Yes, he speaks about he has not come except to the will of the Father. Mm -hmm. That is his mission. You see, this shows that the relationship between Jesus Christ and the Father is one of master and a servant. Yes, well, the master, well, well, the master is the one who commands. The servant says, I submit. And what do we the Muslims call people who submit? Muslim. Muslim. Yes. And what is the religion of the Muslims? Islam. So Alhamdulillah, Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ was a Muslim because he submitted to the Almighty God, just like all the Muslims are supposed to. Yes? But the Christians, unfortunately, they believe in the Trinity, which neither Jesus preached, nor any prophets or messengers, or even the apostles. Yes? None of them preach about the triune God. I'm not talking about the word tri Trinity or the word triune, the concept no one preached okay okay, <laughs> okay, Father, okay. I, 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 sweep it under the carpet I'm, I'm, a, I'm not sweeping anything under Good. the carpet okay. i hope you respond to that okay okay i'm trying to pick up on your points because you're hitting me repeatedly with points all of which can be answered if you give me time john 7 and 3 you didn't answer okay. that you which moved one? on which one that the only true god is the father what about it what about it you disputed it you said the only true god is three the trinity the, tr the doctrine of the, of the Trinity is three in one. Exactly. Okay. So you disputed so, Jesus' so, testimony. So when Jesus came as a man and he said, I thirst, was he speaking in humanity or was he speaking in deity? Because I'll help you describe the thirst. Whether he was speaking as a human or as a God, the fact that he had a God, yes, 
proof. No, just answer the or, question. I well, I am. I, I'm answering your question when in the way said I want. I first, does God first in your view? In my view, no. Right. Okay. So he was talking in his humanity. Okay. Okay. When Jesus said, "I and the Father," no, no, that well, that one's in the middle. Okay, I and the Father are one. But when Jesus said, "Before Abraham was, I am," was he talking in his humanity or was he talking in his deity? Still humanity. So he said, for a human being, an incarnate human being who has a time on earth that starts at a certain time and finishes at another time, yeah. does, before Abraham was, I am, does that make sense? Yes, it does. Well, can you explain to me how it makes sense? In, in the sense that Jesus was asked a particular question about the Messiah. A what question? About the Messiah. Messiah. No, a what question about The question Messiah? about Messiah, about... He was asked. Um, he used a word to describe the type of question he'd asked. Eh? Yeah, because the question that was put to him wasn't, "Are you God?" or "Do you know about God?" The question was about the Christ, about the Messiah. Yes, and Jesus was explaining to them that Abraham, before I was even born, yes, he 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 already prophesied me. Yes, and he delighted in that news of my force for, for knowledge yeah. Yeah. yes this is what he's saying that before abraham was i am that before so, even before so is even being, before abraham existed is he, being he was already he, is he being yeah of course he's being metaphorical so he's metaphorical when you say he is or when other muslims say he is but when he's being literal he's being literal when you no or other muslims i'm saying say. every time jesus is saying that he for example, he does a miracle. He says, "I do this in the name of the of the Father." So everything that he does shows his humanity, not his divinity. So, for example, for example, I'll, I'll give you an so example. So did Muhammad ever say, "Before Abraham was, I am"? We don't believe Muhammad is God. No, if, if that's the connection you're trying to make. No, no, no. But I'm I'm just saying I agree. Yeah, with Muhammad, you. Muhammad said I was prophesied. Muhammad did not Ma say. He Muhammad was said I was prophesied. No. Yes, and this is mentioned in the Torah yeah. and in the Injil. The Torah is how many thousands of years before Muhammad? Yeah, well, there, how many? There how was, many? There was a base, uh, <laughs> the what? How many thousands of years before Muhammad was the Torah? The Torah was compiled probably four or five hundred BC, wasn't it? So that Muhammad not compiled. When was it six, revealed six, to Moses? Seven, when did Moses exist? Uh, the, the the law, the Pentateuch. Moses existed at least fourteen hundred years it? before Jesus. So that's three thousand four hundred years from today. Yes. Yes. And minus fourteen hundred from that. That is the answer you get about about at least two thousand oh, no, years. No, no, no. You, you, you said you said between the the Torah and I thought you said between the Torah. And no, because Muhammad. I said he's mentioned in the Torah and also in the Injil. Right. Well, the, but the Torah when, when was, was revealed to Moses thousands of years before Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So when it yeah. was, so it's about, it's, it's it's about basically years. it's just about a prophecy. For example, if I tell you no, no, no. if From God had prophesied Jesus was, Christ in the Old Testament, I have no Quran, problem with that. When was the Quran for, was finalized? About 670 was it? Something finalized? Like that? It was finalized in the time of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yeah, so in, in Christian AD. I, so. so he he died in uh, six. 32. Right, 632. Yeah. And most estimates for when Moses was around are about, as you say, 1400 BC. So the the time between the, the law being recorded by Moses. Yeah, it's, I'm telling you, it's about 2000 years. About 2000. Yeah, that's what okay, I said. So what I'm saying is that, you, you know, saying. you're talking about allegorical and literal. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this. Is Jesus the literal son of God or is he a metaphoric son of God or an adopted son? Which one is it? The the, the whole, our whole concept of sonship and our whole concept of numerology derives from the Godhead itself and what the Godhead delineated. You're asking the question backwards. From no, I'm asking you, is it a literal God. son, like a biological son, a metaphorical son, or an adopted son, or some other kind of son? Which one is it? Remember, he, he has a problem with literal no, no, and allegorical. No, 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 no. Let's see how he answers this I, question. I, I have a problem with you thinking you will ever see more than a glimpse of God, as the Apostle Paul says, through a mirror darkly. So if God... If God no, no, the Quran says we'll see Allah directly. Okay? Yeah, so yeah. you cannot see his face. Okay? But if you'll be doing shirk, you'll be in hell anyway. So <laughs> the dwellers of hell won't see yeah, God. Sure, Only what, the dwellers what? of heaven will see... One of, 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 us of Jannah will see God. Okay? okay. So, so what I'm saying is that answer the question instead of deflecting it every time. Do you believe that the Son of God, Jesus Christ, is he a literal biological Son of God? 
you as I say you you are asking a question which is has there is the, the answer to that is that God uh, Jesus Christ in his deity is the eternal begotten Son of God so he was there before time beside God in a relationship that we best understand with the word son okay, okay. so what is it uh, define son you trying to take human language constrained to mortal man and use it to describe no actually God. you said You're, you, you, you said that is how the way. Bible describes this anthropomorphic those were your words not mine stop stop putting it back on me when it is you no, 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 who no, said you your God Bible God defines God, God as an anthropomorphic that's, God that's and we say Jesus is the daughter of God or a brother of God no okay so it's not understood. what's that can you define son in a I'm not going to go in the context of Jesus, just define the term son and the different meanings you can have from it. I, I'm saying the whole idea of sonship derives from God himself and we have a limited understanding and explanation of it ourselves. But do you understand when you use the term I, I, son, do you understand it or not? Uh -huh.